the opening of a good action movie has two functions. It should grab your attention and it should pique your interest to keep watching. Halo Combat Evolved's fourth mission does exactly that. It grabs your attention from the get-go and definitely makes you want to keep playing. The Silent Cartographer is a great campaign mission worth playing and among the best of Halo CE's already stellar roster of great levels. There's no shortage of amazing and varied campaign missions in Halo CE. I could have easily made a video on one of the first six missions, or maybe the last one, instead of the Silent Cartographer. You have Truth and Reconciliation's amazing mix of stealth and then search and rescue, and the outstanding level design of Assault on the Control Room. There's just so much good stuff to choose from. But for now, we're heading into the fourth mission, to locate a map room, which could lead us to Halo's control center. The first thing you notice in the opening cutscene is the now classic action chords of the Halo theme. And you're thrown right into the prelude of an assault. While under heavy fire, you and a two pelican strong force of marines storm onto the beach. You're taking this landing zone with brute force. With guns blazing and grenades going off, you're pushed right into the action, and there's nowhere to go but forward. It's an immediate hook, and with the main team still kicking, you eventually take the beach. You check your surroundings and lower your shoulders. Meanwhile, your trusty Pelican Echo 419 radios in with backup. You know our motto, we deliver! It's the perfect action-filled opening to a mission which now transitions into the search part. Let's go find the map room that will show us the location of Halo's control center. In the opening cutscene, the game gives you the impression that this island is an open-ended place, and when you jump into the Warthog, you realize that you're free to go look for the map room in whichever direction you want. The first time you play through the mission, the intuitive thing would be to just keep driving forward. And when you arrive at the next complex, the game does nudge you forward to go down into the structure where you think the map room is. But it's a dead end. You get locked out from the entrance, with a energy sword wielding zealot elite taunting you from behind the door. Then you realize that this wasn't the way to go after all. Here are your orders. I want you to use any means necessary to force your way into the facility and find Halo's control center. And you keep driving. If you go back to pick up fresh marines from the beach, you get the idea of driving backwards from where you first landed during the opening. Or you can just keep driving forward from where you got locked out. Either way, you find a path to the complex which can unlock the door to the map room. Well, there's the entrance to the security substation, but it looks like we'll have to look for another way up. And after blasting your way through some Covenant and doing some hunter bullfighting, you finally arrive at the structure. By now, the game is less action-filled than the opening. There are plenty of firefights of course, but all in all there is no bombastic music and huge assaults. Just you searching for the map room, killing squads of Covenant along the way. You duel another pair of hunters, and finally unlock the door. Good. That should open the door that leads into the main shaft. The title of this chapter of the mission is It's Quiet. And as you backtrack from where you just had a messy brawl with the hunter pair, you get ambushed by elites, cloaked by active camouflage. A friendly dropship in trouble radios in for help. Mayday! Mayday! Dropship Bravo 22 taking enemy fire! Repeat, we are under heavy fire and are losing altitude! But when back outside, you realize that all the marines died in the crash. Cortana informs you that... Bravo 22 was bringing us some heavy weapons. After I saw we were up against hunters, I thought you could use them. You get yourself a new Warthog and the magnificent Spunker rocket launcher. You very soon get to put it to good use on an unfortunate third pair of hunters, back at the entrance to the map room. You push down again, and a quiet cutscene showcasing the vastness of the complex place. Now we're at the stealth section. As long as you can manage to stay undetected, you can get one-shot assassination kills on grunts and elites alike. This usually doesn't work out in the end, however. 
and some firefights will probably ensue. There's a long, long way down, and you push through multiple stories and handfuls of Covenant on your way to the map room. After finishing off some elite majors, you finally get to the map room, and a cutscene plays, explaining to us where we're headed next. Analyzing. Halo's control center is located there. The Master Chief and I have determined the location of the control center. We'll be heading there as soon as we're topside. While you were pushing down, however, your marines back up top were being attacked. Okay, people, we got company coming. Let's set the table. Engage enemy forces on site. And have tried but failed to hold off the Covenant from entering behind you. And now is where the action field opening loops back around for an explosive ending. While heading up again, you suddenly see Covenant coming from where you had just cleared, and the hype song Rock Anthem for Saving the World kicks in. Now it's a frantic scramble to get back up to the surface and out of the ambush. It's probably the most exciting backtrack ever. Music pushing you onwards, you blast your way back up floor after floor. Then, at the door from early in the mission where you got locked out, you suddenly find yourself too close for comfort with the Zealot Elite you've seen throughout the mission. Let's hope you kept that rocket launcher from earlier. Back at the surface, you see enemy dropships taking off and there's a squad of camouflage elites to deal with. But you've done this before. Your marines died fighting, holding off the enemies long enough for you to get to the map room. Echo 419 swoops in, as she does, and a neat little twist occurs. Uh, Cortana, these coordinates are underground! The Covenant did a thorough seismic scan, and my analysis shows that Halo is honeycombed with deep tunnels, which circle the whole ring. I hope your analysis is on the money, Cortana. This pelican won't turn on a dime. Look on the bright side, Philhammer. The last thing the Covenant will expect is an aerial insertion from underground. In the next mission, we start directly from where we left off. From one great mission to another great mission. The assault on the control room. The silent cartographer is easily split up into different parts. The guns blazing opening. The searching for the map room. The stealthy and then not so stealthy delving into the map room structure itself. And then again, the explosive ending. Driving your pulse back up to where it was at the beginning of the mission. It all goes full circle. And I love this mission. There's a bit of everything here, and it all binds together perfectly. Most important of all, it's just a lot of fun. With the recently announced Halo Infinite, it looks like 343 are making an attempt at going back to the more open-styled Halo games. And maybe we'll be lucky enough to get another mission or two of the same caliber as the Silent Cartographer. If you're a fan of Halo, you probably are since you're watching this, or if you just like good science fiction, definitely do check out the Halo books. They give so much backstory and a greater understanding of the universe. I'll leave a link to Audible in the description, which you can use to get two audiobooks for free when you sign up for a free 30-day trial. And if you cancel the trial, you also get to keep the books, so why not? For Combat Evolved in particular, The Flood and First Strike are great choices. The first one being a more in-depth novelization of the game. Other personal favorites of mine are The Fall of Reach, Contact Harvest and The Ghost of Onyx. Thanks for watching, if you liked the video feel free to leave a like and subscribe.